What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Temps, the one and only gaming bodybuilder, back with a new video today for you guys. And I wanted to cover the gaming battles uh, singles ladder 1v1. So basically, guys, I wanted to give you some tips and tricks on the map harbor when you're playing either a best of three or a best of one. In, my, in this case, it's a best of one, and I'm four one down. So I want to show you guys how not to chuck when you fall one down in the GB game. So he plays aggressive for the drop, I play for the grenades guys, I throw one short and one long. If I didn't get the kill, I'd do some uh, some good damage with the grenades and be able to put him down with the Lancer. So my tip for you guys is to always play for the grenades. There's, there's, with this map, there's a rotation on the, on, on the grenades. So one round you get grenades, the next you get flames. I'd advise you to play for the grenades every round, guys. Another key to to, to winning the, the map is be patient, guys. There's no reason to be aggressive. You know, you're not you're not here to show. You know, you're not proving anything by just forcing the aggression. End of the day, I like to play aggressive, but <laughs> oh, not when I'm falling down, guys. End of the day, this map isn't reclaimed, reclaimed where you can go in the barn and, and have a nice shotty battle. So you got to play it smart guys, you got to play the tactics. Focus on the round that you're currently playing as well, don't, don't think about the rounds ahead. Just stick to the tactic each round and um, try and force the, the opponent to, to, to make a mistake. He wants, you know, he needs the round to win the game, to close it out, I don't. I've got a couple of rounds to, to claw back so I can take all day simple as that he's going to get impatient and uh, make a mistake another tip guys what i like to do on this map is sometimes i'll throw a smoke towards the grenades and run up to the sniper this this tricks the enemy thinking that you're at the grenades you get a free pickup on the sniper and then you can rotate yourself back to the uh, drop shot and the grenade area stopping him from picking up uh, the the drop shot he may grab the grenades but it's not really a problem when you've got a sniper or an M bar. As you can see guys, just taking my time. I'm trying my best to, to, to pick up the flames, but some, I missed them a couple of times when I ran out of the cover. I had a, had a good, good opportunity to pick them up, but just happens, doesn't it, sometimes when you're, you, you know, you're under pressure to try and win the round. Here we go guys. I don't know what he was doing, he must have got impatient, makes a mistake, I get a nice clip on him with the Lancer and uh, two shots down with the pistol guys. It's important to use the pistol as well when you've got, got the enemy four pointed because the shotgun, you, you know, if you're missing shots with the shotgun you, you're allowing the enemy to, to, to get closer to you. So always use a pistol in that case guys. I did say I always push for the grenades guys but I forgot to mention when you see the enemy playing for the ball top, try to play aggressive on the drop shot. Get a nice pick, a nice full clip of pistol onto him there guys, making him four pointed. I, I pull out the shotgun just to finish the round. Now we're down to a tiebreaker. Same again guys, I'm playing for the grenades. Yeah, that last round guys. As you could see, like I tried to force the the aggression on the on the drop shot by throwing a smoke and stunning him, but the the smoke wasn't the best, so I had to reset myself and uh, just use a pistol to get some 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 good damage on him. He plays it well here. I smoked him, and, and he and he forces the aggression, and that wins him the, the grenades. So hats off to Bobby Lee for doing that. I, I, I respect that. So in this situation guys, when they have the flame grenades, all you need to do is sit next to the grenades the side. Just stay here, where I am, um, and wait for the grenades to spawn back. He made the biggest mistake there guys by wasting the flame grenades. There was no reason for him to, to, to throw them at me, you know. He, he could have just kept chasing me down with the flame grenades trying to get the kill, but he wasted them, so... Here guys, I'm just trying to put pressure on him and I'm nearly died from the ball talk. Um, that weapon is ridiculous. Two shots and you're dead guys. Simple as that. One to the body, one to the head. And it's 
game over. So you've got to be careful. Bear in mind, uh, active Baltop is, uh, is OP, to, to say the least. So I'm just sitting here patiently, guys, um, putting some pressure on him with, with the Lancer and the pistol, constantly reloading, trying to get that active just to do more damage. I switched to the shotgun a couple of times, guys, to stop him from uh, from head, heading me down. And just keep putting the pressure on, guys, covering the grenades until they spawn back up. Once the, the flames spawn back up, then we can make us play. I'm always having trouble with spike lag in, in, in the game, guys, and sometimes it costs me the round, even the game. It's really frustrating, but it doesn't last that long. So now we can make the play with the flames. He baits out one of the flame grenades with a rollback. I'll make sure that doesn't happen again, guys. tries to do it again, I'm not, I'm not going to fall for it, but I know exactly where he wants to go. He's going to cut into the drop and then try to come back out. Easy kill for me guys, GG. If you enjoyed the video guys and it helps you out in the future, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below. I hope it helps you out guys. I'm Gaming Bodybuilder signing off. Peace.